Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 to be placed in the Hampton Conservation Fund? The, this fund is used to acquire, maintain, improve, protect, or limit the future use of or otherwise conserve and properly utilize open spaces and conservation easements in Hampton in accordance with RSA 36A sections 1 through 4. Inclusive. Recent acquisitions such as the Bachelor Farm Conservation Easement have significantly reduced the size of the fund. The goal, of, the goal is to return the fund to adequate levels to enable the commission to conserve additional lands on behalf of the town of Hampton. The conservation fund contains previously approved appropriations or gifts for the same or similar purposes that have been made to the Conservation Commission Accumulation Fund, the Conservation Land Fund, and the Conservation Land Acquisition Fund. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee, 7-4-1. to four to one. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $20,000 is 7 tenths of one cent per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 30, moved by Ms. Woolsey? Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Waddell. Ms. Woolsey, would you care to be heard on Article 30? This is an ongoing fund, and what it does is help the Conservation Commission to have some cash available if a property comes up for sale or acquisition. We have got to be more focused on preserving open spaces and wild places in this community. We tend to build on every inch of land, and it's really doing a terrible disservice to the community. So I am and have always been a very strong proponent of the Conservation Fund, and I ask you to be kind enough to vote in favor of adding the $20,000 to the existing fund. Thank you, Ms. Woolsey. Uh, Mr. Diener, would you like to be heard on uh, Article 30? Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jay Diener, 206 Woodland Road. I'm the current chair of the Conservation Commission. Um, over the years, the Conservation Commission has been proactive in trying to protect and preserve uh, properties in Hampton. Um, we've done so with the Batchelder Farm, we've done so with the Herd Farm, we've done so with the Ice Pond and with other properties. We have been in prior years and are this year asking for um, an appropriation to the fund that we allocate specifically or, or monies asking for an appropriation of funds that we allocate specifically for the acquisition of property outright or conservation easements and or the maintenance of those properties. And the reason we do this is because we don't know when those opportunities are going to present themselves. And we look at this as sort of our capital reserve fund. We're looking to build up our funds so that when those opportunities do present themselves, we can put as much of our accumulated monies towards those purchases, towards those easements, and minimize to the greatest extent possible the amount of funding that we request from the voters. Yes, there is a tax impact from each one of these appropriations, but if we do this incrementally, the impact to each property owner in, in town is minimal on an annual basis as opposed to waiting for a big hit when an opportunity does present itself for acquisition of property or an easement. Um, so that's why we ask for these appropriations on an annual basis so we can build up that fund and take advantage of those opportunities when they do present themselves to us. Um, and we appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dina. Mr. Rice? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. I support the idea of putting $20,000 into the uh, conservation fund. Um, but I have a little bit, I think there's a better way to do this uh, than what we're looking at right now. If, if everybody will look forward to Article 32, uh, that is going to call for the uh, taking the money that's currently in the Heritage Fund, $5,329 and, and uh, 58 cents and putting that back into the general fund. I approve, I agree with that too. The Heritage Fund, the Heritage Commission is no longer in existence and this money should go someplace. Um, I would suggest that uh, per perhaps a better way of doing this is to take that money from the Heritage Fund and put it into the Conservation Fund, which would then lessen the amount of the increase in taxes. It ain't much, but there's a principle involved here of let's use some economy uh, where we can and avoid any uh, option of uh, raising the taxes. So um, I would suggest that we change the $20,000 figure to 20000 
minus $5,329.58. And then when the other one comes up, I will then make a motion to move that money into uh, the conservation fund. Well, well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that suggestion. That's not going to be permitted because that's a new purpose to that article. So I'm going to stay on 30, but if that's the intent of reducing the 20, uh, I'm not going to entertain that motion because there are people out there who would read 32 and say, "Do I am I okay with money in the Heritage Fund going to the general fund? And they might be, but they know that's the, the purpose of that article. If you, um, and I'm going to use some descriptive language, if you hijack that to conservation, that's an entirely different story, and they may feel differently about heritage money going to conservation. So. Um, I'm going to certainly allow you to manipulate that $20,000 figure in Article 30, but I'm not going to entertain that change of purpose in 32. Um, a question, Mr. Moderator. Where does the uh, funding come from, uh, other than through uh, a tax increase, to uh, go to the, the conservation fund? Is that it's in and out of the general fund, in effect? Is it not? Well, I don't know. I've got an article before me that uh, is presented uh, and it uh, seeks to raise $20,000 for stated purposes, conservation purposes, that Mr. Diener uh, has spoken of. That's the article that's um, under discussion, and certainly um, we can amend that amount. We can make it more. We can make it less if the body is uh, in agreement, um, but that's the purpose that we're, we're don't, dealing don't with. I don't want to impact the net amounts in any of these. I think it's good to have the 20000 in here. I think it's good that the five grand in the in the conservation in the heritage uh, fund goes away. I'm just trying to short circuit one step so that we make it easier without having instead of raising taxes seven cents per thousand uh, on this one we only raise it to, uh, five cents four or five cents per thousand. Yeah. That's not uh, procedurally okay. N not uh, we're, we're on Article 30, but I, I'm just trying to foreshadow because I don't want you to be disappointed if we get to 32 and you say I wouldn't have reduced it to 15 if I knew I couldn't pick it up in 32. 32 says heritage to general fund, and that's what we're going to deal with uh, in 32. I'm disappointed that we can't do that and save people a couple of cents on their tax rate. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. Kaiser? Ann Kaiser, 7 Palmer Street, Hampton. Uh, Fred raised a question as to what is the source of the uh, funds that the Conservation Commission has. And the only source right now that I'm aware of is the percentage of the land use change tax that is contributed to the, uh, that goes by state's, uh, town's rules to the Conservation Commission. But there hasn't been any land use change tax recently since Smutty Nose, and prior to that, I just heard from Jay that there was very little that uh, they received. So I would say that this is a good warrant article, and I'm in favor of it as it stands. Thank you, Ms. Geyser. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 30? Seeing none, Article 30 will appear on the ballot as printed. 